This is a lesson on exploring volume. And this is going to be a short, painless lesson. Um, we're going to get further into volume and it's going to get more complex, but this is going to be a pretty simple lesson. So there's a few things that you need to know. Um, number one, volume is the measurement of the amount of space inside a three-dimensional object. So like a box, for example. We're no longer looking at just like a rectangle, we're looking at the 3D version of a rectangle. So there's a box. Um, and the next thing that you need to know is that you can find the volume of a box by filling it with identical items and then counting them. This is, it's pretty simple, I know. It seems, it seems too easy to be true, but that's basically what we're doing. So I've got three examples on, on the paper for you. And these things are, are pre-filled. They come pre-packaged, so they're obviously going to fit perfectly in their boxes because that's how the manufacturer makes them. But what you're going to be doing is practicing uh, filling various containers with objects that are not meant for those. So it won't work out quite as well as easily, and it might be um, give you slightly different answers. But it should be generally uh, the same number as everyone else gets. But anyways, um, here's the examples. We've got Crayola chalk. And this particular box holds 144 sticks of chalk. So that means it has a volume of about 144 sticks of chalk. Next one is, uh, these are boxes of candy. And it says this box, so it's like this big box, holds 24 boxes, little boxes of candy. So it has a volume of about 24 candy boxes. And the last one is uh, sugar cubes. Now these ones don't fit in so easily and tightly like the other ones do. Um, however, it's still, this is more true to what you will be doing because they're not all lined up perfectly. Um, but it says this box holds 80 sugar cubes. It has a volume of 80 sugar cubes. I hope you see a trend here. So basically what you're going to be doing is uh, filling a box up with um, items like chestnuts or blocks, uh, filling it up just to the top so that it's level with the, with the top of the container, not below, and it's not piling out above. Um, you should be able to put a lid on it. Not that we have a lid for the containers, most of them, but you should be able to put a lid on there and uh, it fit on perfectly. That's how you would know. Um, but you should also, if you were to shake it, it wouldn't really rattle a whole lot because it would be pretty full, like packed full. Okay, and that's what this reminder says. It says, when filling containers with objects to find the volume, always fill the container so that the objects are level with the top of the container. This means that the objects do not stick out above the top of the container. They should fill the container just to the top. All right, so they shouldn't overflow at all, in other words. Anyways, um, you're going to be doing a lot of uh, exploring in the classroom. Um, with different objects, but your assignment is on page 137, and it's numbers 2 to 6. Have fun!